Good, good evening to you both. Yeah, at some point the FBI was looking into this. Some parents tell us that they just found out about this song last week. The district, though, says it acted appropriately. Concerns in Oconee County about a rap song posted to SoundCloud back in May, threatening administrators and teachers at Wahala Middle School, and it came from a group of students. I was hoping that tonight someone from the school board or the administration could at least give a more firm response to put at ease parents who are concerned. These young men are very deeply ashamed of what they did. A lawyer for some of those students and their families said it was never intended to be posted and that the lyrics were pulled from other rap songs. The families all want all the teachers that were identified in the song to know that they are so deeply sorry. The district said those students were punished in accordance with its behavior code and that it was handled correctly. If we had even a remote fault that there was going to be violence perpetrated at our school, do you really think we would let students go the next day? But some still say they're not happy. Oh, if those kids really did care and were sorry that they did that, they would apologize in person. For that lawyer to say that those kids will never get the, the opportunity to, to say, I'm sorry, why don't their parents have them take that opportunity and say they're sorry? Because that's what the community needs. And the FBI tells us that its media policy prohibits discussing the outcome of investigations on matters where criminal charges are not filed. The FBI investigates the facts of an incident and, when appropriate, forwards it for judicial consideration. In Greenville, Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.